Hello and welcome to another Biology Lab Cast. I'm John Sawash and today I'll be demonstrating a lab I call Meiosis Poker. This lab demonstrates the process of meiosis using playing cards. You'll need a full deck in order to do this lab and you'll need the lab worksheet which is available at the website at the bottom of the screen. It's also very helpful if you have a general understanding of the process of meiosis as well as some uh, terminology such as diploid, haploid, chromosomes, gametes, and some others. Alright, let's get started. The first thing you'll do in meiosis poker is take a deck of playing cards and lay them out according to the type of card. So I've got my aces, kings, Queens, Jacks, and so on. Just do all the cards out in a pile. Okay. Now I have all my cards laid out, and I only need four groups. So I'm going to put everything away except for the Jacks, Queens, Kings, and Aces. We'll just set those off to the side. And the first thing I'm going to do is uh, take my cards, and I'm going to take all of the red suits and put them into one pile. Okay, so my red cards, all my black cards, separate those out. And I'm going to simulate the first step of meiosis, which is interphase one, by laying down one of each type of card. So one ace, one king, one jack, and I'll do one queen okay, of the red suits. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the black suits. So again, this is simulating interphase one of meiosis. Each color represents one set of chromosomes. And all together, this represents one cell. So each cell has two um, of each chromosomes. So these are um, the same chromosome, but as you can see, they are slightly different in color and in suit. This is interphase one. <clears throat> Next, we're going to simulate synthesis of interphase one. And to do that, <clears throat> we're going to add the other color to each of the cards. So we'll add the red ace right there, the red king, the red queen, and the red jack. And we'll do the same thing with the black suits. So king, ace, jack, queen. This simulates the replication of the chromosomes which occurs again during synthesis of interphase. Now each chromosome has a pair and this is referred to a sister chromatid. So I have two red aces, two black aces, and so on. During prophase one all of the chromosomes are lined up together. Um, these four cards will come together. These four, these four, and these four. This is referred to as homologous pairing. Uh, homologous means the same, so all of these are aces. There are differences, obviously. Each is a different suit, and we have two colors. But um, in referring to chromosomes, they have the same information on them. When four chromosomes come together, it's referred to as a tetrad, meaning group of four. And again, this is prophase one of meiosis. In metaphase, the chromosomes line up on the equator of the cell. And then in anaphase one, the sister chromatids are separated. And we're going to simulate that by separating our piles, uh, separating it from one pile into two. However, this time, instead of having all the red cards on one side and all the black cards on one side, we're going to have a mixture of the two. 
This is a random process that occurs in meiosis. So we might have the red aces over here and the black aces over here, but then we might have the black king here and the red king here. We'll put the red queen and the black queen, and then the um, black jacks and red jacks. So again, we've got two groups of chromosomes. Each one still has a pair, but we've already combined and recombined some of the chromosomes. So we've got a mixture of red and black here and a mixture of red and black over here as well. This is anaphase 1 of meiosis. We'll now go into meiosis 2. Interphase does not occur in meiosis 2. The next step would be prophase and we've already got our cards lined up and then metaphase they will be lined up on the equator so we have that as well and the next part would be anaphase 2 and in anaphase 2 this is the end of meiosis each pair of cards is going to be separated okay so this is another cell division so we're going to separate out the aces the kings the queens and the jacks so now we started with uh, one cell with two copies of each chromosome. Now we have four cells with one copy of each chromosome. One interesting thing to point out, and this is the beauty of meiosis, is that although each cell has a complete set of all four cards, everyone has a jack, a queen, a king, and an ace, everyone is different. For example, this cell up here has a ace of hearts, a king of clubs, a queen of diamonds, and a jack of spades. This one here has an ace of clubs, a king of hearts, a queen of clubs, and a jack of diamonds. Each one is different, both in color and in suit. And so each one of these represents a different gamete with a different genetic composition. When combined with a gamete from the opposite sex, these cells would grow into a unique individual. This is meiosis poker. Hopefully you've learned the steps and can confidently um, answer the rest of the questions on the worksheet. <laughs>